Hi guys and welcome to my Christmas Q&A as part of my Vlogmas series. sponsored by Leo Vets because I'm going to be cleaning my tack while I answer all of your Christmas questions. So a huge thank you to Leo Vet for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I've used their products for a very long time. Today I'm going to be using their leather soap and leather cream, which are two of my favorite items and all links will be in the description bar below. Just dump my sponge. So the first question is, do you buy a lot of presents for your horses at Christmas? And to be honest, I don't actually buy anything for my horses at Christmas, um, mainly because having seven of them means that obviously I don't particularly have a lot of money to be buying every single horse a present. It would be extremely expensive. Um, not that I don't love my horses, but they get things when they need them. So like new rugs and things, if they need them, they get them. Um, so rather than just buying things for the sake of it being Christmas, we just obviously buy them, buy things for them throughout the year, um, which works better for me because then, you know, you're not having to pay for everything all at once. So they do get extra treats and sugar cubes and things like that um, around Christmas. And normally we give them each like a pack of polos or something, but they are really the only kind of treats or presents they get um, for Christmas. I think if we had less horses, obviously, um, then it would be easier to give them like individual presents, but definitely can't do that when you have as many as we do. So a few people have asked what my Christmas list is this year. And to be honest, it's everything horsey. So um, I really, really want a new coat a new horsey coat um, because I need something in winter that's going to keep me very warm and dry and I wanted a long coat because I'm very kind of net, I get very cold very quickly. Um, so I wanted a long coat that would keep all of me warm. So that is what I've asked my mum for. Um, in terms of what else is on my list, Obviously, any sort of riding clothes um, I've got quite a lot of, so nothing really like that. Um, some of my favourite brands though are Horse Gloss, CT Equine Collection, um, anything from them I really like. And the other things that I like that are kind of non-horsey are just comfy things, so pyjamas, fluffy socks. If I'm not down at the yard, I'm generally covered in about 20 layers during winter. Um, so I do like my home comforts and anything cosy. And also equipment for filming. Um, so I could really do with another camera. Uh, so that's on my list. Um, I'd very much like a drone, but I don't think that's gonna happen this year. Um, but yeah, I mean, I honestly could go into a horse shop and want to buy the majority of it. So really anything horsey is always on my list. So someone else has asked what colour theme are my decorations. Now my decorations at home match my living room because that is the main area um, where we decorate really. And they, so my living room is gold and black. So that is pretty much the colour that I go with, obviously you don't really get black Christmas decorations, so we just do gold, um, which works really well and it looked really nice last year. We're gonna buy a few more bits um, and I am going to be, you might have already seen it, I'm not too sure what order Vlogmas is going up in yet, I've just planned the video separately. So you may have already seen my Christmas decorations by this point, because um, I know I'm planning on vlogging, putting them up. The saddle's actually not very dirty. And someone else has asked, what is your favorite Christmas song? Now, my favorite Christmas song is probably um, Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You. Is that, is that the title to it? Um, but yeah, that is probably my favorite Christmas song. I'm a bit of a traditionalist with Christmas songs. Um, 
I do like Michael Bublé. That was one of the questions actually. My photographer asked me that. Um, if I'm a Bublé fan, I am a very big Bublé fan. I'm sure he's defrosting as we speak. So a few people have asked me about my routine, what I do with the horses and the animals, whether their routine is different on Christmas day. So at Christmas, I come and I stay at my parents' house. Um, so obviously I've only had one Christmas previously um, where I haven't been living here. So this will only be my second Christmas of not living at home uh, with my parents. So every year, even though I don't live at home, I come back for Christmas. So me and my boyfriend, Chris, who you've all seen in the video, um, will be coming and staying Christmas Eve. Uh, probably until like Boxing Day or something. But our Christmas tradition and what we do every single year is we come for Christmas Eve. Normally on Christmas Eve, we'll have like a buffet um, and the horses and everything are just done absolutely normally on Christmas Eve. We might go see my auntie and some other extended family. Um, and then Christmas Day morning, we wake up super early. And I mean like 4, 5 a.m. Um, normally to my mum shouting he's been and then we come downstairs open all of our presents um, and my granddad will be here my parents will be here I don't know if my sister's here this year because she's a nurse so obviously sometimes she's working and sometimes she's not so hopefully she'll be here um, and then once we've opened all of our presents we then go and turn the horses out which is normally like six-ish, seven-ish, as soon as it's light enough really to go and turn them out, um, which is slightly earlier um, than the rest of the year, but their routine is pretty much the same. So they get turned out earlier. Um, we all help in mucking out. So it's kind of like a family effort, the big muck out on Christmas day, just so we can get it done faster so we can enjoy the festivities. So um, dad will have prepped Christmas lunch because my dad cooks Christmas, um, so we'll all go muck the horses out, turn them out, feed the animals, feed the horses, and then we'll come in and help out with Christmas lunch. Kind of that lull in between opening the presents and waiting for, you know, your Christmas meal. Um, and then at lunchtime, we'll go out, give the horses their hay nets, and um, bring them in normally earlier on Christmas day because then we can all come in and relax. So they will just come in slightly earlier in the um, afternoon. But to them, the day is pretty much the same apart from they might be out slightly less than a normal day. So they might um, go out slightly later and come in slightly earlier just so we can enjoy being here and being family and opening and presents and eating lots of food and we play a lot of games on Christmas um, so I'll be staying here and I'm actually much closer to Smokey if I stay at my parents so I will again be going and looking after him just exactly the same um, I'll just fit it in around you know doing the horses at home as well but yeah that is pretty much what we do for Christmas so someone else has asked if we ride on Christmas day um, no, we don't because Christmas really is more a time that we spend um, as a family. So the horses just kind of get seen to, but they're not like the main thing that we do on Christmas day. So I don't tend to ride it on Christmas at all. I don't think I've ever ridden on Christmas day. Um, I know some people go on Christmas hacks and some people do various different things, but that's just not what we do. So... Um, so a few people have also asked about Christmas traditions, if we um, decorate the stables. We kind of put um, stockings out for the horses, but we don't necessarily decorate because obviously trying to put tinsel and things around the horses is kind of just asking for them to eat it. Um, I am going to be putting some decorations up in the stables this year, but we don't really go mad. We go mad on our house. So my mum's house is always like a flipping grotto at Christmas. There will be decorations galore, inflatable snowmen, ridiculously large Christmas trees, of which there will probably be three. Um, yeah, so we go crazy in the house, but not so much in the stables. So we've moved over to the sink for the bridal because it's just easier. Um, So 
So a few people ask me every single year if I'm going to do a Christmas haul and to be honest I'm not a huge fan of the idea of Christmas hauls because I think Christmas is very different for a lot of people. Like some people go all out at Christmas, some people just get a few bits at Christmas um, and I completely understand like it's just people being interested in what you've got um, and I have done them previously but I don't actually tend to get that many horsey products um, for Christmas which is why I don't tend to film it because one there's not really enough to fill a video um, and two like I, ooh, and two is that I don't really get time before I use them so like say I'll get my coat that I've asked for on Christmas day um, and then I'll go out and use it straight away so I don't get time before I use them to actually film it um, and also I tend to get like a big present at Christmas so like my coat will probably be quite expensive so then there won't be like loads of presents so yeah I just I probably won't if I get a chance I'll film it and um, I'll film a haul but likelihood is it won't happen so a few people have asked me why I've decided to do vlogmas this year um, I've tried to do it before I think but um, I'm normally too busy to be able to do it but this year I've been much more organized than I usually am um, so I've filmed a lot of videos like before vlogmas to get them all ready and I've just yeah I've just been a lot more organized this year so I've actually had the chance to do it um, obviously you guys know I do YouTube and I work as a social media consultant and I do so many other things that um, filming a lot of videos in a short amount of time is very difficult for me but I am making a special effort this year. So someone asked me if money was no object what would I ask for for Christmas and I kind of made oh, and I kind of made a TikTok um, of this so the things that oh my god we need a proper stand so things that I would get from Santa if I he had an endless amount of money are some Fairfax and Favour boots because I've been eyeing those up for years now um, and I'd really like a pair probably a I don't know there's not a massive amount of large items I do really like their body warmer um, you know another maybe a miniature Shetland wouldn't go amiss um, a seven and a half ton horse box with the license to do it, to drive it, um, without actually having to do the test, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things. I do need some new riding boots. Mine are looking very, very well loved, um, but I can't bring myself to get rid of them yet. Um, so yeah, new riding boots would be very nice. I have had a look at the De Niro's and they look very nice um, but my friend had a few issues with her so I'm not too sure what, I'm, what I'd go for. I absolutely love my Treadstep Island boots though so I'd probably just get another pair of those. And there we go, clean tack. Speaking of boots, they need a damn good clean. So someone's asked me what my favourite thing to do is on Christmas and as cheesy as this is about to sound, it's actually giving presents. I absolutely adore seeing people open the presents that I've chosen for them. Um, last year, a very kind um, subscriber of mine actually painted chilli um, and I gave that to my mum as a Christmas present and it, honestly, like it made her cry. She absolutely loves the um, drawing it's so well done it's incredible um, and yes yeah, see her face light up when she realized that that's what I got her for Christmas um, was just lovely so yeah it's actually seeing people open the presents that I've got them that's my favorite part um, I'd say my second favorite part is Christmas dinner absolutely love me a good Christmas dinner my dad used to be a chef so he is the absolute ultimate um, person for just creating a Christmas dinner. He does the best pigs in blankets and they are my favourite part of this dinner, if you're wondering.
A few people asking about the other animals as well as the horses, like whether they get anything special for Christmas, and actually they do. So um, the pigs and the goats and, well, the rabbits in a way as well. So they all get Christmas vegetables um, and like a bit of a Christmas meal. So we do them like a Christmas lunch as well, um, which they really like, the pigs especially. They love anything like that, but we always give them um, basically sort of the veg that we would be having anyway with our Christmas dinner, they all get. So that's a nice little added extra for them. So another question I've been asked is what is my favorite Christmas film? And this is probably hard for some people, but very easy for me. My, I actually have three top ones, but my absolute favorite Christmas film is The Grinch. It was always my favorite Christmas film growing up and it still is. It's still not Christmas until The Grinch has been put on TV. Um, my second one is Love Actually. Absolutely love that film. Makes me laugh so much when he's dancing down the stairs. And my third one, um, again from my childhood, is Muppets Christmas Carol. Absolutely love that one. Um, so yeah, they are all of my favorite Christmas films. So once I've cleaned everything with my LeoVet leather soap, which is this amazing stuff, I then go in with their leather cream. Now this actually smells amazing and it just gives everything a really nice shine. Um, if you can get the lid off. It's got a little pulley thing, there we go. So this is the cream and all you do is just use a cloth that's nice and clean and isn't like um, gonna have bits coming off it and you just rub that in and then rub it on the boot to make it nice and shiny and I'll do this with all of my tack. But as we have run out of questions, I won't film all of that because I don't want you sat there in silence as I just buff away at everything. But thank you so much to the lovely Leo Vet for sponsoring this video. Thank you to everyone who did ask me questions in the Q&A. If you didn't get your question answered or you want to know anything more, pop me a comment down below. And I will see you all very soon for my next Vlogmas video. See you soon guys, bye.